Hey guys, my name's Chris and this is Financial Fitness. And I got some awesome, awesome comments. And I want to, I'm going to, that's what I'm going to do in this video is read you the comments of the shortages that are near you or that may be possibly coming to a town near you. This is really important and I don't want you to miss it. And a lot of people watch the videos and don't look at the comments. And I try to look at every one of them. I didn't get all of them on here, but I got most. And you're going to have to excuse my snotting and carrying on. I have had the woohoo bat flu and I am recovering. And I would sit here and sob about how bad it has been. <laughs> but I would rather hear the fat lady fart than see a grown man cry. So let's jump straight into it. All right. Man, I have had some wonderful comments. These guys, you guys are awesome. Kendro, the Kellogg plant was on strike for months, only recently been settled, and they are back to work. Kellogg products are in short supply in Atlantic Canada as well. Thank you, Ken. Mr. Fool, from Canada, Walmart Superstore Safeway shelves have been half empty for at least six months. Thanks, bud. William Wolf's Blood, checking in from Al Albuquerque, New Mexico, and I'm seeing way less meat, dairy, eggs, sprouts. My typical grocery store frequently has zero chicken, beef, eggs, and milk. It's nuts. It's starting to be the case all over the place. <coughs> w. Nolan, I've noticed my local grocery store being less stocked than normal. It's saying out west is more impact sounds about right because it is not too, too bad here in Manitoba, directly in the middle. I've seen much worse in B.C. It's gotten so bad I searched Canada Shortage Grocery to see if it was on the news somewhere, which is what led me to your video. I'm going to the store soon, as I, soon and if I see any, I can certainly forward that to you. Please do. Thank you for watching and I really appreciate this info. Keep it coming, guys. This is good stuff. Brent, I am from Ontario, Canada. There are food shortages where I am. I am truck driver, unemployed due to the mandates. I refuse to be the animal tested for Pfizer. We have work shortages due to the mandates in every field. We absolutely do. I'm really sorry you lost your job. That is disgusting, uh, but I just know it's going to be all right. I, I just somehow I know we're going to be okay. This too will pass. Williams Wolf's Blood checking it. Oh, already read that one. Judas Filkenstein. I just met a few friends from Canada at a legal spot on the U.S. slash Canadian border, assembled by accessible by sleds only. They wanted select covid related medicines and grass-fed bison i just wanted tractor parts the canadian border is nothing more than a line on a map between a few checkpoints between vancouver to windsor they are having a hard time with all the same things we are i guarantee nobody will go hungry in canada that sits between north dakota and upc that's awesome i am so proud to be part of this community that we're putting together and if y'all are in the comments i cannot say it enough get in there and tell somebody something don't be scared you know these people are here to help these are good people i'm telling you peter i went shopping yesterday and i can confirm this is true cereals rice noodles juice boxes and pet foods are very very low in stock if any provigo and metro were the two stores i went to yesterday and i live one hour from montreal in the country <coughs> karen a I am in Nova Scotia, Canada, and we have seen shortages in the grocery store, but this past week or so, the shortages are very obvious in our local Walmart. It is not a super center, but a decent size for a small town. My husband was with me, and since he doesn't go normally grocery shopping, he was really surprised at how they had aisles of plastic totes and laundry baskets just to fill the space. The grocery aisles were bare in a lot of spaces and sparse in others. Very limited cereal, no flour, limited rice. To be honest, 
What was there was limited supply or none at all. So relieved that I have been prepping for the past few years, but so many have not. And you are exactly right. So many are whistling Dixie past the graveyard. They couldn't care less. Everything is rainbows and fairy tales and unicorns. And for those of you that think that, keep on going, buddy, because I created a YouTube channel to try to help spread the word of what's really going on, because for some reason, it is so hard to find the truth. This is the people with boots on the ground that are telling you what's going on. Pay attention. Canadian Kraken. We live in Alberta. We have only seen certain items missing. One day we went to the to Sobeys and they were there was zero chicken. People are stockpiling. We will keep you posted. Thank you. Please do. John Casey, I live just outside of Toronto. <coughs> I find that the cheaper the frills, I find that the cheaper no frills type of stores are a little shy and front faced on certain products. But the more expensive Metro Loblaw type are very well stocked. It is not to a point where it's, anyone is going to starve just yet. Good sales anywhere are all but gone, yes. You may not be able to get your preferred brand of certain items or perhaps certain items is just not available at all. But there is food to be had for the moment. This is right. The, it, the shortages are sporad sporadic. I've noticed that around here. Uh, right now, it's just kind of a pain in the butt to not have your favorite thing. And later on, it might be a real pain in the butt to not get that thing at all. Uh, these things have a, hard, a, a way of getting worse, especially when we're having the fertilizer crisis, as well as some other things I'm going to talk about probably in the next video. <laughs> Tina Saunders. Yes, Chris, all these are true. I'm in Windsor, Ontario, Canada, five minutes from the bridge, and grocery store cereal is limited Limits on everything in the store. Sale ads come out on Wednesday to start on Thursday, and the manager already said on Wednesday that the trucks that came in had none of the items that were on the flyer. It is starting to collapse, and no one is really ta talking about it. We get tidbits from our local media. Ugh, hold on, everybody. The ride is just beginning. I completely agree. Tina, thank you for your comment, and keep this stuff coming. Y'all see it? Put it in the comments. I'm going to talk about it, and we're, you know, you can drive down the road and listen to the comments because it's hard to get in the comments and catch every one of them. Tony Ernest, hi from Australia. 80% of our population lives within 50 kilometers of the coast. Have been stock, stocking up for quite a while now, and got to tell you, empty shelves are becoming increasingly normal, as they are all over the globe. Troy Jones, I still don't understand how some places might experience shortages while other same cities, other stores are fully stocked. You would think a shortage of certain products would hit everywhere at the same time. I kind of thought that too, but that is absolutely not the case. It just doesn't work like that. I don't know why. It has to do with supply chain, and I don't know, but it, it's absolutely the case. Thank you for your comment. Michael Clayton. Now, this is my favorite comment. I thought I'd put him in here because he needs to be talked about. I live outside of Edmond, and I went shopping yesterday. There were no shortages I could see at the co-op, Walmart, Safeway, or Superstore. This guy, talking about yours truly, is trying to spread panic and encourage hoarding. <laughs> I have been encouraging people to buy a little extra food for about a year. Now is not the time to hoard. A year ago was a good time to stock up, but right now you should probably just buy the minimum because, especially you, bud, because obviously since you've never experienced a shortage of any type, uh, probably because your grandmother buys your groceries, you should not worry about anything. Unicorns, rainbows, and fairy tales. Just stick with that and you'll be fine. Gary. Fries and Phoenix had over 2,000 missing items from the shelves, most with blue sorry stickers. Thanks, Gary. I haven't seen those yet. Lost Signal Reception says, Central Canada here, Ma Manitoba, not seeing any shortages yet. Through our Costco, 
Though our Costco has been out of Kirkland brand chicken, kitchen roll, blah, blah, blah. Uh, no big, he's not seeing any shortages, but that's okay. Hey, that's, that's, that's part of this. So we'll know who's got it and who doesn't. That way y'all can get it. Curtis, my good buddy Kurt. I know nothing of Canada. Here in North Georgia, I did a survey of four Super Walmarts stores because I have been thinking of doing a YouTube video myself. You should do it. You should absolutely do it because this thing is collapsing around us and there's go we're going to need more truth tellers. People that will say the truth even though the YouTube doesn't care for that too much. What I found is the two Walmarts in wealthy areas were much better stocked than the lower income areas. I've noticed that too, Kurt. I asked a manager why that was. His reason was the lower income areas do more volume than the higher income areas. Me, I did notice the lower income stores were busier than the higher income Yeah, I can see that 100%. Uh, but that's, that's an interesting observation. That is about 60% of the comments. Get in there, guys. Leave me some comments in this video. And if you like this, just reading comments, because you could be driving to work or whatever, and, you know, you can get this information. And you'll kind of know what's coming and what's going and, and, you know, how things are unfolding. My name's Chris. This is Financial Fitness. Like the video for me. If you stayed on this long, I really appreciate it. And subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss anything. Y'all have an awesome day. I will see you tomorrow.